When considering a 55 and older community, it's easy to see the benefits. An active lifestyle, wonderful amenities, single-story homes, and a beautiful community. But is there a downside? Let me share with you some of the disadvantages of living in a senior community. Hi, my name is Casey, and I just recently moved to a 55 older community here in Temesco Valley. And I can honestly say that I feel like we made the right decision. But we did face a few problems along the way. So let me share with you a few issues to consider if you're thinking about moving to a senior community. Number one, a strict homeowners association. A difficult HOA is one of the most common complaints within a 55 and older community. So watch this one carefully. We've all heard the horror stories of people moving into a community and later finding out how strict the homeowners association really is. Look, we all understand the need for some restrictions for the benefit of all. But some communities really do take this to the extreme. But I can assure you of one thing. These strict HOAs do enforce their policies. If you violate these policies, you can be fined by the association. And if you fail to pay the fine, a lien can be placed on your property too. These situations can quickly get out of hand and become extremely frustrating for everyone involved. So no matter what community you pick, one of the most important things you can do is to read all of the community rules and regulations carefully. If you don't understand something, simply ask questions. You don't want to end up in a community that has rules and restrictions that you don't agree with. If you're not comfortable with the rules, then that community is not the right one for you. Number two, a lack of age diversity. Since adult communities usually require at least one person in the home to be at least 55 years or older, there is a lack of age diversity within the community. And this type of environment isn't for everyone. Some people actually move into a 55 and older community because they want peace and quiet, only to find out later it wasn't what they expected. Some people just enjoy hearing the hustle and bustle of a vibrant neighborhood, or they may just prefer being around people of all age groups. And that's okay. For these people, living in a senior community simply isn't the right choice for them. Number three, smaller home sizes. Most homes in a 55 and older community are designed for two adults. As a result, they're usually smaller than a typical family home. If you decide to sell your current home and move to a senior community, you might need to downsize. Downsizing to a smaller home isn't necessarily a bad thing either. Smaller homes require less maintenance, the utility bills are usually lower, and moving can free up some of your cash. But keep in mind that downsizing is a process. So in addition to moving, you'll need to sell or get rid of some of your belongings. Just make sure to give yourself the time to complete this task and don't underestimate the time and effort it will take either. You might be surprised at how much stuff you've accumulated over the years. Number four, restrictions on your visitors. Many 55 and older communities do place restrictions on your visitors. There may be limits on the number of people that can stay at your home, their ages, or even the duration of their visit. Your visitors might also face restrictions on where they can go and what amenities they can use too. So make sure you fully understand all of the community's visitor policies to avoid any of these problems. The truth is, there are pros and cons for every community. But if you do your research and you read the association rules before making a purchase, you'll be able to make the best decision for you.